what's up viewers it's your boy samoski today i'm back again with another afro beat tutorial for you guys so today i'm going to be breaking down a beat right inside of fl studio my wife started a new youtube channel so i'm i'm also featured in that channel which you can see here if you click the link just here you can actually go to our channel then subscribe because that's where i post my lifestyle how me and my family actually live I would like you guys to go there and subscribe, support at the channel to grow just as you have done for HBS Beats. So before I break down this beat which I have here, I want you to hit the subscribe button. If you're not yet subscribed, then like and share this video with your friends. Let's do this. Straight from the lab of HBS Beats Discount. So the first thing I want to do is to play the beat. Then later on, I'm going to be explaining everything about the beat. Alright, I'm just going to be stopping there, then let me just break down everything you need to see in this uh, video. So have in mind that I am not going to be breaking down everything step by step because it's going to be taking too long. But if you want to see how everything has been made in this beat, you can actually take my lessons on hbsbeats.com or you can actually contact me. My number is in the description of this video and let's talk how you can get started with your private lessons. So if you don't know, I actually do private training on WhatsApp, which is an MP4 format. And I also do live training, which is via TeamViewer or via Zoom, Zoom meetings. So try to reach out to me and let's talk. So uh, starting out here, I have the percussions and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys. So I'm just going to solo the percussion, which I have here. This is what it sounds like. So if you want to see how each of them sound individually, I'm going to be doing that. So this is the first one. This is the second one. The third one. This particular one here. The next one. The next one again. Next. that's how all of them sound maybe you want to listen each of them individually that's the sound the second one that's what it sounds like this other one here then this guy here you understand so this one this one so i'm actually doing it so that you can hear the tone of the uh, percussion and the final one all right so moving on to the next pattern here i have strings which uh, as you can see so this is what the string sounds like it's actually coming from expand this is what it sounds like So right in the strings here, I have uh, the EQ, Reverb, and a Stereo Enhancer, just to give it some, uh, making it pop out of the speakers a little bit. And next off, I have 
this loop here which sounds like this you understand so let me let me play the loop together with the drums so that you see what it sounds like that's what it sounds like then here comes the kick drum so i'm actually uh, using a uh, two kicks yeah this is what the first one sounds like and this is what the second one sounds like so you have to tune your ears when you're when you're selecting percussion so that you have to select the right percussions 100 percent of the time so next off i have uh, this particular percussion here which sounds like this this is the thumb okay and then i have some flute here which was uh, consolidated because of the plugin i use it was uh, causing some uh, latency or i don't know what happened but i just had to bounce it this is what it sounds like so i have another one here which sounds like this also this is a, a sax from a uh, contact library both of them from contact libraries so next up i have the sub bass which sounds like this i actually got it from nexus so you need to be on headphones to hear them so next up i have uh which sounds like this expand also next up i have another one here this is like the the progression i i change the progression a little bit around this area you get my point it's still from expand so here i added the drum roll this is what it sounds like that's a, a stomp is on that one the, the snare reverb snare and then I added, I did some roll here. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. And guys, that's everything you have heard in the So the reason why you, you, you hear the beat sound exactly the way it's sounding, it's because of the, the kind of percussion I selected. You know, so I selected some 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 good sounding percussions and also uh, throughout the mixing i did some eq so when you whenever you're making your beat you need to be precise have a reason of adding any effect you want to add if the snare is not sounding good you don't need to kill yourself about it just look for a good sounding snare but that doesn't mean you need to spend one hour looking for snare anyone that works for you just drag it and drop it use that one for the meantime but as time goes on you can actually change it when you know that your beat is done you can start uh, uh, criticizing the sounds anyone that is not making sense you just have to replace it and that's how this beat has been made so if you want to learn more about music production mixing mastering and you need some uh, samples you can actually reach out to me my number is in the description of this video and please don't forget to go to my wife's channel to subscribe my other channel i'm also showing my lifestyle there with my family so i'm not just uh, making beats if you don't want to be seeing me if you want to see the other parts of me you need to go there and then subscribe to the channel so thank you guys for watching this video if you love what i'm doing please share this video with your friends like and subscribe if you're not subscribed see you guys on the next tutorial have fun learning bye